Hello, my name is Jake. Got some two and a half inch hard drive SSDs. Mmm, heat sinks. I got an iFixit screwdriver. You ever have been stabbed with a Torx bit? Put yes. that in the video. In this box is the fastest dual processor computer on the planet. Were you expecting more? Because that's all it is. It's fast. <laughs> and it's sent over by our friends Wendell at Level One Tech. How's it going? You should go check him out because uh, this is technically property of AMD, but uh, he sent it anyways. Thanks, man. <laughs> also, this video is sponsored by Pulseway. More on that later. I don't know what's in here. Oh, I see what this is. So this server would have came in like a specific configuration from AMD, but uh, Wendell did some slight modifications because he's had it for a few years. So he actually sent us a little SFP module because I think there's a 10 gig SFP card in there. So a network card. Um, so we'll keep that just in case we need that. As for accessories, it's... Not exactly anything interesting. We got some two and a half inch hard drive screws and some three and a half inch hard drive screws. Really, three and a half? Where would you even? Let's see, I don't think you could even fit three and a half inch hard drives on this thing. We got some nice closed cell foam packaging, even though you totally can't buy this server. <laughs> and there she is. You see, very nice and shut. Oh, oh, Wendell. Oh, you didn't feel it. Oh, I feel the static. Look at my arm hairs. Yeah, baby, let's go. Feels good to be fast. So looking at this thing on the outside, this is shockingly similar to our current Wanik 3 server, or if uh, you're a psychopath, you might call it- New, new Wanik. Or if you're a liquid, you might call it- The Badger Den. But it's effectively kind of the same package. You have two Epic CPUs, and our case, these are also 64 core and our current one is also 64 core, so that's a total of 128 in both of them. If you pop these off, you can see a metric boatload of RAM slots. This system only has about half of them populated right now. I think this is 512 gigs of RAM. Uh, would have been like similar to how this, this system would have shipped from the manufacturer. And it's not a system that you would buy. Like this isn't something, you know, data center buddy would put on order. Um, this is actually a reference system. So similar to how you get like a reference graphics card from Nvidia where it's, you know, sort of the same design. If you get it from PNY, you get it from EVGA, a reference card is gonna be pretty much the same. And that's because the design was actually set up by Nvidia. And in this case, this was actually a project between AMD and Quanta, which is a major server ODM. They would sort of design this system in partnership and they would send them out to your, your Dell, your HP, your Gigabyte, so they can base their servers off of this. And you can kind of tell because the Dell system we have in our server room looks very similar to this. Like even down to the fans popping out, they're in the same place. They got a plastic shroud over the CPUs. I mean, I guess you can't really do it too many ways, there's only so many ways you can design a box, but uh, it does look pretty similar. Although the CPUs in this system are very new, the actual chassis is, is not a recent release. This Daytona chassis, as AMD calls it, was actually released with Epic Rome, or the last generation, but uh, it's seen a BIOS update and I guess was built with the power spec in mind that it can handle these 280 watt each CPUs. And I guess while we're in here, we might as well start taking it apart. Very like Dell-esque with the, the blue markers to sort of indicate things you can actually touch with your hands. Like here, you're supposed to hold there to pull out or here you're supposed to push this or whatever. They usually use blue to mark it, but this is pretty crazy. You see the CPU coolers? They, I guess, didn't have quite enough gumption in this spot that they put a heat pipe out to have a little like satellite heat sink. <laughs> Look at that, that was so weird. Yeah, they look like little like antennas. I suppose I might have uh, been teasing you guys a little bit too much. If you haven't guessed already, what's underneath here is two of AMD's latest Milan CPUs. And uh, it sounds kind of like a fancy place, but it's actually a processor. It's a family of processors. And in this case, we have two, like I said, 64 core before. We have two 64 core, what are they? 7763s, I think. The absolute top of the line Milan CPUs. So with those CPUs, that should make this the fastest system basically on the planet, assuming you only have two CPUs since they're the fastest in themselves and you put two, it's gotta be the fastest with two, right? And here they are. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> have you ever seen blue thermal paste? Nope. What the hell? I've never seen thermal paste like that before. Okay, so we got the CPUs all cleaned up and ho oh, ho ho, look at those. 7763. That thing costs like $8,000. And there's two of them. 
There's something about just holding 10 grand in your hands that never really gets old. So this is a 64 core, 128 thread, like I mentioned before. It's got a 2.45 gigahertz base, uh, 3.5 gigahertz boost on 64 cores. <laughs> and unlike the previous generation Rome CPUs, this guy, at least there's, there's a couple that they released like halfway through that could do it, but this one can do 280 watts which is just a mind numbing amount of power for one CPU, especially when you consider there's another one. And now one of the concerns I originally had with this chassis is because it's from the previous generation, it wouldn't be able to do that at much power, but you know, according to Wendell, and it, it will do it, no problem. Before we start up, we should probably go over a few other interesting things here. So I wanna take a look at the RAM that Wendell included for us. 32 gigs of Micron 3200? Yeah, that sounds about right. That's sort of the, the standard for Epic. You need that crazy fast RAM to keep those CPUs fed. What do we got on the back here? Let's check out the power supply situation. Your typical redundant power supply setup and 1,000 watt. Okay, yeah, 1,000 watt platinum, that's pretty good. I don't think this is as much as our- Wannick 3. But uh, I don't think this server's set up for doing GPU stuff, so 1,000 watts is plenty for the you know 500 watts of CPU and probably like, what, 100 watts of fans? These are 12 volt, three amps. So you're looking 36 watts of fan. <laughs> yeah, these probably blow at like 15,000 RPM. So what, there's three of them? Yeah, that's, that's a lot of wattage just for fans. I guess on the back, it's, the server doesn't really have anything pre-configured, but Wendell did throw in a 25 gig card down there. You can see the SFP28 connections for that. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. All right, let's start this thing up after our message from our sponsor, Pulseway. With Pulseway's remote monitoring and management software, you'll be the first to know when a user has an issue or when there's a problem with your IT environment. Pulseway gives you out of the box commands to take action, such as killing processes, resetting user passwords, running PowerShell commands, backing up files, and even remote control. With powerful auto remediation, Pulseway can automatically resolve critical IT issues like low disk space, high CPU usage, and even restart your services. And the best part is you can do this all from their mobile app or from your desktop, fully featured regardless of the platform. So try for free today at pulseway.com or check out the link in the description and just to make it a little bit easier for you we're even going to install it on this machine and show you how it works briefly it's pretty sweet there you go. There we go. ah it was magic it was all me i did it boom yeah this is the quiet mode <laughs> <laughs> oh look whoa that is the the most half-assed <laughs> Boot icon ever. <laughs> they must have been like, hey, we can put a we can put a boot image on the BIOS. And then AMD was like, oh, let me just look at download Google Images, Epic logo. <laughs> they didn't even bother to make it black. <laughs> oh, what? You seen this? Did you see that? Yeah, <laughs> it said LDT store store.com. Damn it, Wendell. <laughs> What's up with this? Uh, there's no drivers probably. All right, we don't have internet. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, actually, he sent us a thing just for that. Oh, Wendell! Wendell! Had it again with the SFP modules. Oh. I honestly actually don't even know if this will work, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> oh, it's blinking. It's doing things. Oh man, we're doing CPU encoding. I don't know if this thing can handle it. Actually, I kinda wanna see what this looks like. 10%, that's, that's quite a bit. You hear the fan kicking up? <laughs> You know you have a lot of cores when you have to scroll through them. Ugh. Either way, that's a lot of cores. <laughs> and a lot of RAM, look, 512 gigs. Having this many cores starts to beg the question of what do you use this for? I mean, for us, we have a similar setup, but it's CPU sitting at like 5% most of the time. We just like it for the PCIe bandwidth. But if you're gonna use this in the real world, this is a system you'd probably do some like machine learning computation on, or you might have it in a slightly different chassis with multiple GPUs, so you can actually make use of those PCIe lanes or super, super fast storage. Well, it wouldn't be a sponsored video with Pulseway if we didn't install Pulseway. And I'll show you just how easy it is. We'll go to pulseway.com, I should probably should have looked, oh, resources downloads. Look, I didn't even know where I was looking and I still found it that easily. Pulseway for Windows. Download, come on, super fast server. I know you can do it. Next, I agree, sign my life away. Bada bing, bada boom, Pulseway is installed. Oh, I, I still gotta log in, but it, it, it's installed. 
All right, so we got it installed. You can see Wanik 3 here, 85 days. That's not bad uptime. <laughs> <laughs> I think the last time it went down was Windows updates. But yeah, here, look at that. We got our 0% CPU usage. We got so much RAM. It's like 511 gigabytes out of 520. Oof. You can see lots of stuff in here. You got your hardware, so we can see our temps and our fan speeds. Wow, it even, oh, you see these CPUs are hot, 72 degrees. The, the like very quiet studio mode just makes these things cook. Oh wow, it even shows you like your, your SATA remaining lifespan from your smart huh. statistics. That's very cool. You can see printers, storage. Uh, here, let's do this, Windows updates. We'll just force it to Windows update. Four updates found. Cool, restart. No, oh, actually, no, 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 no I don't want to do that. There's OBS. no BS recording. Dang it! Ah, here, monitor, lock. Monitor assistant. I'm locking the desktop. Look at that, it locked. What? Look, the point is, Pulseway gives you a ton of control, analytics, everything you could possibly want as an IT system administrator, and you can do it all from the comfort of your home, sitting on your bum on your phone, you know, if you're working from home, because you know, there's a pandemic. But if not, you can also do it on the website. It's great. Check it out at the link in the description or pulseway.com. So unfortunately, while this is very performance oriented, it's supposed to break records, I can't show you any of that yet. Stay tuned for the full LTT video where we're actually gonna, you know, do the Cinebench, apparently above 100,000 run, <laughs> like just crazy stuff like that in the LTT video. But for now, thanks for checking out this video. If you like really cool bleeding edge technology, maybe check out the video I did on Starlink. Thanks to Pulseway for sponsoring it. Definitely check them out in the description and we'll see you on the next one. Get subscribed maybe. <laughs>